Hi everyone, welcome back to another RimWorld video. Today I want to talk about eggs, uh, hatching, how to get a lot of chickens, and the, different, the difference between uh, fertilized eggs and unfertilized eggs uh, in this uh, game. So basically, as you can see here, this is my coop, okay? And um, these are my egg box. The, every egg box can have up to 25 uh, eggs. And as you can see, some of the eggs actually um, recently hatched into little male chicks and female chicks. Uh, got a lot of them. And depending on your also manage manage uh, auto slaughtering, uh, see I got a maximum of 20 over here. So basically 13 chickens are going to be slaughtered uh, among all the chickens that I have. Uh, the, so yeah, the excess will be killed. However, that's because I have too much chickens and I have no more spot to put my... <laughs> as you can see, I have a lot of dead animal corpse still waiting to be butchered. So yeah, it's good to have a lot of chickens, but at some point when you have too many, it's not that good. Also, in order to have uh, eggs to, to have, uh, in order for your, uh, sorry, your your female chickens or female ducks or even female turtles, in order to, you know, to f uh, to lay eggs, they, you see over here it says egg progress, 63%. So as they wander around the coop, uh, the area with males, they need to be a male, of course, the, the egg progress uh, percentage will go higher. And as they reach 100%, that's when they're going to come over here. What is she doing? Slaughtering chick. Yep. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Did he just kill a rooster? What the hell? Wait a second. How many rooster am I allowing? Three. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because if you have too many rooster, they uh, will procreate too fast, and that's what happened. Yep. So three already three are already three roosters is they're getting jiggy with it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Anyway, uh, where was I? Yeah. So every egg box can have up to 25 uh, eggs, and after that, what happened is that. The ducks or the chickens, the female chickens, will go to another egg box in order to lay eggs. And also, every time they lay eggs, it, they, can, they can only lay one egg at a time every time they reach 100%. Okay. Um, same thing with the turtle as well. The other thing you need to take in consideration, consideration is the filth. The filth, you're going to say, what does the filth have to do with anything? Well... Two things. The first thing is over here, as you can see, it says surgery factor 101%. So let's take an excellent one. Where's the excellent? Excellent over here. So it says 103%. Uh, surgery fact, uh, chance factor 107%. Immunity gain factor and rest effectiveness 114. These two over here, immunity and rest effectiveness, they never change no matter what, no matter how filthy is your base. The only difference is surgery, su surgery success change uh, chance factor. Surgery. Sorry, surgery success chance factor has to do also with um, healing your animals when they get, uh, I don't know, a disease or, you know, healing them from any kind of, uh, you know, when they get something, if something happens to them. So that's what it is for. And what happens is that when it's filthy, when it's too filthy, okay, now she just cleaned the last fill. So it was 103. Let's see if it, that changed. It's still 103. But if you go over here, uh, it's already clean. It was dirty. Okay, let's go with this guy. 101 no that has no uh, they already cleaned it <laughs> i wanted to show you because it was very dirty and uh what is this guy over here it was super dirty over here and this was like at 63 percent so what does that mean it means that if let's say one of your animals over here gets hurt from i don't know being attacked or a disease if let's say they come over here to sleep you know to in order to waiting for um healing well, because their surgery chance fact, uh, success chance factor are will be lower, it means that the quality of the bandage, the quality of you know of the healing will be less efficient for the animals. So, is that a big deal? It's relative. It's up to you. Do you care? <laughs> I mean, do you care? I mean, maybe some of you. I think the only time you would really, really, really matter is is, is if your animal is bonded. So, if your animal is bonded to one of your colonists then yeah i think it would matters because if your animal who is bonded dies because they did not get efficient healing uh, i mean efficient uh, medicine whatever and they're not healing properly and let's say they die from whatever uh the your uh, colonists will get a big debuff you know so does it matter as well a big debuff on your colonists you're gonna say 
Well, it depends. See, my guy is already full buffed. He's like super happy. So if he gets a debuff, I don't know, 14 minus 14 minus 20, it's not gonna change a lot. But from some, but if let's say this guy who has a, a lot, you know, who's not very happy, let's say he gets a minus 20 debuff or minus 14, 15 debuff because he lost his bonded animal, then yes, it would matter because then he will get lower and lower and lower, and, and then he can go berserk, bang, he can go, he can throw tantrum or some shit can go down, and, you know, and like the end of the world, right? So that's why, in a certain way, it does matter that your entire place remains, uh, like, clean. So that your animal, you know, well, specifically the bonded one, can sleep properly, rest effectively. And also, if they rest effectively, the males will be more prompt to, um, they will be more prompt to make babies, you know. Because if the place is so dir is too dirty, and I think I've noticed that while I've been playing, because I've been playing this for a long time. So I've seen, you know, the... Uh, which one actually uh, how how they procreate right now the place is so clean that they're making a lot of eggs both the female the female and um, and the males are procreating very fast because in order to for the egg to progress she or she, the the female ducks or chickens needs to be close nearby uh, a male otherwise the egg progress will not go any higher you understand so it does go higher, like you see, it's like slowly it does go higher. But certain, sorry, but at a certain point, she needs to be near, near. She needs to, you know, like to. I don't want to say mate, but you like she needs to. You know, have sex <laughs> with another with another male chicken or male. Well, in this case, a male duck. Okay, uh, because even if the egg progress, if the egg progress goes up and up all the way to 100% but let's say she never gets to meet a male before that uh, the eggs will become unfertilized and if it becomes unfertilized it still will it will still be there like you see this has been here forever but I need my let me see can I ask my holler to one second prioritize emptying egg box see so yeah so unfertilized is useless there it's, it's just there for no reason so I'm gonna ask this guy over here to empty it Unfertilized as well. I'm gonna ask some um, empty the box. Not what chicken did. Okay, somebody needs to uh, hauling chick. Okay, is it fertilized? Fertilize, fertilize, fertilize. Yeah. So um, so that's the end. Of it. So that's the thing. So whatever you see unfertilized, you can empty the box. Let's just see how it does. There we go. Boom. So he's gonna take it, and he's gonna bring it over here. Make sure you have a, a zone, a zone area for your uh, for your store for storing uh, unfertilized eggs. I made a mistake before, as you can see here. I have fertilized eggs. Um, that, that was my mistake because I, I I forgot to uncheck this. This was checked, and um, some of my haulers would go over here and you know grab the the eggs and put it over here. Uh, that's why I have to remove it now for because fertilized eggs is what you need in order to get your chickens uh, Your chicks to hatch so you don't want to put them over here because if you bring them over here Automatically they get ruined by temperature and you, they cannot hatch anymore Meaning you can only you you can either eat them or you can use them to make uh, meals and by the way eggs are very good uh, substitute in order to do fine meals so you see lavish meal and fine meals if you do if you use eggs, uh, it's gonna help you to um, so make sure these are check marked by the way. So if you use eggs, you'll be able to use uh, make lavish meal and fine meal more efficiently because lavish meal and fine meal requires a lot of nutrition. Uh, so let's say uh, raw meat would cost five. Uh, it would cost five, in, instead of five raw meat. Uh, my cook will take one egg. One one egg is equivalent to five raw meat. You understand? And that's how you make a, a lot of uh, fine meal and. Um, uh, lavish meal and lavish meal as you all know it gives you a, 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 a mood buff so if you look over whoops if you look over here mm, eight fine meal it's a plus five I want to see someone lavish who ate lavish plus 12 for lavish so that's good that's very good actually so yeah um, that's that and uh, also make sure you see the beds I have if you when you have the um, when you have the material like clothing or you know uh, any type of like light letter plain letter pixin letter 
you know, if, if you have a lot of excess excess leather, I suggest that you start making beds for your animals, for your coop animals, your pet, uh, you know, because what happens is like when they sleep, uh, like I said, when you st the, when they sleep on the bed, they have a higher sur uh, surgery success change fa yeah, chance factor. Their immunity gain speed factor is 107%, rest effectiveness 114%, but that depends on, see I have an excellent bed, animal bed right now, so that's what you get. So if it was a good bed, so let's see on a good, let's find a good one. That's a normal, so normal you'll get 107, uh, rest, rest effectiveness 100%, immunity gain is the same 107, but surgery, uh, surgery success chance factor or 84%, good. You will get uh, se whoa seventy seven percent. Now what? Okay, the place is clean, but you get seventy. Oh, I know why. Because of the light. Hunt. Yeah, that's why. It's because of the light. So basically, what you want to do, you have two choices. You can use this light over here, or you can use the um, this guy over here. Eh, I'm gonna use this guy over here. So I'm gonna put it like. Yeah, no. You know what? That's not a good idea. It's better if I put this because this um, torch will. Uh, will heat up the place will heat up the place and you don't want the you know well it's a good thing in a sense wait 25 well it depends if it's too hot it's not good as well oh my god so basically <laughs> oh my god you know what I'm gonna put this instead because if there's electric because I have to put electrical power thing over here what is it this guy will hit power conduit and if this explodes if the power conduit explodes over here all my animals will die so I don't, and every, the entire base will, uh, because this is made of wood, so it, it will burn out, and things will burn, and all my beds will burn. So you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna use this instead. Yeah, it will heat up the place a little bit, but at least, but at least you know, um, the uh, the surgery chance factor will be higher. So want to let's say I put here and here. So this one I'll remove. There we go. So I have this guy over here. This guy's over here. I'll put it. Well, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to do this. You don't. I just do it because, you know, it's not the end of the world, to be honest with you. It's just, you know, I'm a perfectionist. So, yeah, so one, two, and three, and four. Four is enough. I should put one in the middle. No, who cares? Same thing over here. I put two over here. So, let me see the. What is this one? Good. So, because near the light, 103%. That's very good, actually. So, if you go someone who's far away, well, far away, just a little bit more far away. Uh, still 103 so uh, it's not too bad but if you go and you know and by the way if you make them sleep on, on a on a spot like this guy over here you get shit you get shit at all so a surgery chance 51 rest effectiveness 80 percent but there's no immunity gain so immunity gain factor 107 percent this is important because some animals can get disease and if you don't want them to die like i said specifically bonded animals so it's better to, it's good to have immunity gain speed factor stats over here uh when you construct a bed it's i mean if you don't want to lose a bonded animal but the one who are not bonded i guess if they're good for butchering then it's okay let it be so you got to figure out which one are bonded you know once you go in the, over here and you like okay the one is bonded this one is bonded and you know when they're bonded you get a stat so husky whoops so husky is bonded to miranda so if i go to miranda where's my miranda bio need X set master five. She gets a five. That's not bad, and she get nuzzled as well. Talking about nuzzling, by the way, uh, you can see over here. Uh, I got two. I got a cat, and I got a Yorkshire. Yorkshire. So basically, what does that mean? It means that these guys are been have been zoned to stay around this area and in the kitchen. Like I'm gonna show you. Just want to talk about that since we're here. Small animal in house. So basically, I allow them to go outside over here. I allow them to go around here, and I allow them to go around here. Okay, one second. Make a little change around here, around here. They can go here. Uh, they can. I'll, I will allow them to go here if he wants to eat some, you know, some animals. I don't know. Sometimes they want. They're like carnivorous and they just want to, you know, they want to eat an animal. So why not? And they should help me because I have too much animals anyway. So, <laughs> so basically, what happens is that these little animals, the cat and the little doggy puppy, they are allowed to be in this area because. Uh, because of nuzzling these people uh, these little animals they nuzzle a lot and because they nuzzle well a lot they nuzzle they nuzzle they do a lot of nuzzling because as you can see Miranda where's my Miranda she got nuzzled so a cute animal nuzzled me so the cute animal is one of those two technically but if you want them to be nuzzled I highly recommend that you create an area where they eat you know where they eat where they work like you see this is 
this is like a crafting, this is like art, this is a uh, uh, tailoring, you know, you know what I mean? So this is where they, basically this is where they go the most often, eating. So when it's time for them to nuzzle, because they have an interval time, what's nuzzling? Uh, where's the nuzzling? 12 hours so every 12 hours they will they will nuzzle someone but they need to be within range so that's why I made a little area zone for them uh, small animals to you know to be able to nuzzle someone so but you don't want them to go everywhere every everywhere because then it's gonna create filth and uh, you don't want that so and and to be honest with you I have two uh, I have one two three four people like uh, cleaning like madness so basically my place is is always freaking uh, clean and it's important to have your place clean because if it's not if it's dirty you'll get debuffs and sometimes you can get food poisoning that which is why I'm actually researching right now sterile materials for uh, this area over here because some of my people got food poisoning and uh, food poisoning is really really bad anyway back to the chicken and the eggs uh, like I said um, you can so in order to get a lot of eggs and to uh, you know to make them to procreate, make sure you have at least uh, three males. Well, three males. I say three because I have three of uh, you know chicken males. Like see, got, well here are ducks. I got eight, which is a lot. Uh, three chicken males. Uh, I can reduce this actually to I don't know maybe four because you don't want to have them to procreate too much because I have too much food anyway. So yeah, and I put, what did I put? Thirty, twenty. So yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure you double check these things. Four, that's too much. Let's put three. Whoop. So you gotta you gotta make you gotta play with these things. Put three is enough because otherwise you have too much food. You got too much food as you can see over here. See too many corps and I, I they they won't spoil, but the thing is there's too many. And you know, you know it's not a good thing. So you wanna play with that. Make sure you don't have too many males to procreate. Actually you can reduce this to fifteen. I could reduce this to fifteen actually. Because, well, the thing is, I'll be honest with you, the reason I leave it high like this also is because of my ideology. So if you look at um, Rambo, social, I, I chose this guy, a rancher. So the more the more animals that I have, okay, the more animals that I have, the, more, the, the bigger buff that I get. I get a buff for that. Let me see. Lots of animals. So I got two. See, because the amount of animals I have is not enough. I only have two. Well, I actually have a lot of animals, to be honest with you. But for them, it's not it's not a lot, lot, lot. Um, you need to have like more than that. Like I need to have like double, triple everything, in order to uh, to have a bigger buff, mood buff. Uh, according to ideology, the ideology on here it says. Hmm. So if you look over here, mood, no animal, minus three, scarce animal, okay, minimum expectation, minus two, few animals, minus one, some animals, am I reading the right thing? Okay, no, sorry, no animal, minus three, scarce animals, minus two, uh, few animals, minus one, lots of animals, total body size per colonist, eight, so that's plus two, tons of animals, plus three, so sowed human food plant expect chain oh, okay so if i sow human food plant so if i if i if i make a human you know if i uh, seed and uh sow uh, like you know plants i get a debuff for that it, no slaughter for 10 days if i don't slaughter animals i get a, for 10 days i get minus 3 so basically and the maximum buff you can have is tons of animals and that would be um one second Low funeral. But okay, okay. Total body size per colonist one, two, six, eight. Okay, so when I have a, a total body size per colonist of eight, eight per colonist. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen times eight. Uh, eight, oh sh wait. Man, I'm good in math, but man, I'm tired. Uh, okay, 15 times. <laughs> uh, times to cheat. Okay, 15 times 8. God damn it. 120. There we go. All right. So if I have 120 animals in my in my um, bar, uh, in my base, I will get a plus 8 buff. So yeah. So so yeah. So if I have 120 animals, I will get a plus 3. Sorry, a plus 3 buff. That's what I'm. That's what I meant, 120. But like I said, uh, to get 120 animals, you need to, you know, butcher them at some point. And if you don't have enough spot, you know, and if you don't butcher them, you, you know, 
it's your ass. You're going to have a lot of animals, you get a plus three buff, but then you're going to see a lot of dead animals everywhere, which will rot in, and it's... I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that, but yeah, you know me, I, I go with how... I, I use the amount of animals depending on... Um, how many colonists I have and how much food do I need and everything so that's it so that's it for the eggs guys I know I talk a lot sorry about that but I just want to point out some few stuff and uh, yeah make sure that your place is clean uh, if you want them to progress faster for fertilize uh, for fertilizing eggs and um, otherwise bro the uh, bring the unfertilized eggs over here in order to use them for f uh, fine meals lavish meal um, and also makes beds make beds instead of the spots see right now I'm gonna remove these spots because they're although I have when you start you have no choice but as you gradually level up your base you know progress remove them and put some uh, you know X beds like that so you can have these thing over here so they can make babies better and they they're healthy and you know they you can get their fear their meat whatever their milk whatever it's a tra same thing with the cow so you get milk out of it see milk fullness so yeah you want to check this out guys so Thank you. Uh, so if this video helped you in, in, in any way, please like and subscribe. So I want to thank you for watching this video and uh, I, ho I hope to see you in my next video as well. Thank you guys. Cheers. Let's watch those chicken. Look, they're so tiny. It's so tiny. So tiny and it's like sleeping there on the big bed like a big boy. <laughs> is this one dead? Yeah, it is dead. Make sure you have it. Oh yeah, you make sure you have a lot of uh, haulers. Because the amount of animals you kill, you need a lot of haulers. See right now, the, these have not been hauled yet. So yeah, what is she doing? Playing billiard? Come and haul, goddamn! Oh, she can't haul it because... Oh my god, there's no more place. Um, Yeah, okay, I'll expand it a little bit. There we go. And I'll do this as well. There we go. I'll, yeah, for now I'll do this, I guess. So now they can haul it. Yeah. So let me see Vanessa. Oh, now she can haul it. Yeah. Well, no, let's make her haul right now because they're going to rot. And if they rot, uh, you know, I mean, I don't want them to rot. <laughs> oh, this one too. All right, guys. See ya.